I'll show you something kind of weird. You can see that there's a house right there that they're tearing down. You're going outside of town. And uh, over here, across the road, there was another one. All that's left is the foundation. You can kind of see it right there. You see the concrete foundation. Another place that uh, it looked like it was condemned and then they tore it down. And there's another place right here that's been abandoned. You can see there's a no trespassing sign in the window, but that place is also abandoned. And I wonder if that's on the chopping block next. But it's very strange, very peculiar, because what they're doing is they're actually, um, they are tearing these places down at night, which is really weird. And I don't know what to think about that. Um, I mean, there's there were dumpy houses around but uh, for years here, but they've been just tearing one place down after another, and I have to wonder if it's some kind of a weird Agenda 2030 thing or something, or I don't know what's going on. But uh, heading out of Patton here and going to head up to the property, you can see some of the beautiful fall foliage here. And I'll film just a little bit more, I guess, so you can see some more of the foliage. Um, right out there, I don't know if it's this peak or the one back in there, but one of those is Mount Pickett, where Wolfton wants to be, be doing their mining, just for way of reference here. And you can see, and you can't see the top of Mount Chase, which is over here. The clouds are obscuring the view right now, but yeah, this right up ahead, up in that area, is where they want Wolfton wants to put their mine in. So, I do appreciate everybody's prayers that the, that, that would be stopped. Well, we're finally back to the property. I'm back from driving and had to come back to close some windows. I left open because it kind of looks like it's going to rain. It's not supposed to, but you never know. A little bit of blue sky up there. But uh, I wanted to talk for a minute or two about um, not being intimidated by witchcraft. Specifically, the witchcraft of Hollywood and the media industry. I guess they're technically all part of the media industry. But what I'm saying is uh, mainstream media slash Hollywood. The quote-unquote news and... Uh, the entertainment field industry um they can intimidate you i was kind of what i was watching this thing this morning with uh, oliver and um he'd asked some questions about robots and technology and things like that and and we were laughing about you know some of the older robot type of stuff with the tin can looking guy and he's you know eh, eh, does not compute does not compute and i said oh no they're they're pay past that oliver and he said you know, what do you mean? And I said, well, they have this artificial intelligence stuff and they're trying to make life like skin and all these things. And he just, he couldn't understand that. And I said, well, I'll show it to you when we go to the office tomorrow. So this morning we were watching some things about that and they're talking about advances in artificial intelligence and how that uh, we're just getting so close now and we're providing lifelike things. And, and they had uh, this most advanced uh, artificial intelligence female robot or something like this and and uh, she's so advanced and she has emotions now she can have emotions um, you know okay uh, why would you have to create a artificial intelligence robot with emotions if you want it to be there to help people and whatever else what's the point of having it have emotions but you know they're they're coming up with all this stuff of oh you know in a number of years, these robots are going to take over. Yeah, they're going to be there, and they're going to control everything, and and uh, we won't have a chance against them. It'll be robots versus man, and it's like the movie, and they get on into this this movie here and that movie there. Uh, movies are a bunch of goofballs, a bunch of drug addict perverts, for the most part, and they're they're playing things. And cut. Let's try that again. You didn't do that quite right. <laughs> and yet, people take that stuff seriously. You know, they watch some guy, you know, Rambo, Sylvester Stallone. When he's out there, there's roid muscles, created muscles taken from steroids, you know. Shooting it. Not even a real gun, you know. Or if it is, it's firing blanks. And, um, but, you know, oh, man, oh, he's a tough guy. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, when he's 
you know, must be with my roids. I, I have my roids, you know. Oh, wow, he's such a tough guy. He's a pansy. Guy's a pansy. There's, you know, videos out there saying that he's making fun of Christians and anybody who says that there's a heaven, there's no such thing and all this other stuff. Just a wicked, stupid pansy is all that the guy is. Um, it's witchcraft. You say, what do you mean? Bending, shaping, changing reality. That's what witchcraft is. If you were to define what witchcraft is. They can say, well, we can come out here and they can worship Mother Earth and, and we can take the, you know, some different leaves here, of goldenrod, and we can pick a, make a spell and we can do all this. No, you're not doing anything. Uh, what witchcraft is, is it's a bunch of delusional feminists and they're coming out and they're making spells and all they're doing is trying to get in touch with devil spirits. Um, and there are devil spirits that take on sort of a feminine character to them and so it leads these witches to think that they've connected with with uh, earth goddess Gaia or some kind of you know the three goddesses of witchcraft the Trichatra you know <laughs> witches in three persons blessed blasphemous uh, trinity or something <laughs> but uh, don't let them intimidate you brethren we are part of the body of Christ God, the Father, watches over us. He is the creator. He is the creator, not she. Um, he is the creator of all things. So these goofballs come out with all their little, uh, oh, we're going to bring in this and we're going to do that and whatever. Um, study the scriptures, brethren. The scriptures teach that these people fail in three and a half years. Antichrist comes to power and all the world worships the beast and all the worship world worships the dragon which gives power to the beast uh see how that works again you know oh we worship this witchcraft goddess no you're worshiping a devil the bible says that the things that the gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to devils you see so the people oh we worship the beast oh we worship the antichrist christ has returned oh actually you're worshiping the dragon that gives his power to the beast it's all illusion the people worship the what the image of the beast huh would you imagine that maybe they'll get it through a tell a vision hmm yeah it's all an illusion brethren this is my father's world out here like the old hymns sings about um you know all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres this is my father's world. You know, um, I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas. His hands the wonders wrought. If you don't know that old hymn, you can look it up. I don't have it memorized perfectly. It's, I left a few things out there, but it's, that's basically how it goes. Um, but it's my father's world. The Lord Jesus Christ. All right, if you, again, if you don't understand the Godhead, the Godhead has three different parts to one being. Body, soul, spirit. And it's one being. It's one person. There's only one God. And Jesus Christ is the body, the physical manifestation of that one God. The God the Father is the soul, and the Holy Spirit is the spirit. Very difficult, huh? Um, but I just, I see all this stuff and, you know, oh, we're going to make these robots and they're going to get even better. And eventually, you know, they're, uh, this female robot thing that was talking and it was saying, you know, they said, what makes you angry? This guy from uh, some news agency in Australia, he said, what makes you angry? And it said, when people don't treat me with respect as a robot, they don't respect my feelings as a robot. I thought, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, you were programmed that way. You get this goofy robot and it's making these noises, you know, and, and we are thinking of doing the thing here and we are, you know, and all this stuff and people say, Wow, imagine what it's going to be like someday. You know why they're saying that? Because number one, they're practicing witchcraft. Bending, shaping, changing reality. And number two, they're evolutionists. You see, in their minds, they think it's going to get better. But if you read the Bible, it says it gets worse. Evil men and seducers, seduction, witchcraft, yeah. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. You see, these guys, they live in their little artificial lab. And they say, well, look at what all our, our robot can do in the artificial lab. Wow. 
just think about the possibilities and uh man to think where this could go we could have robot soldiers and we could have robot farmers and robot robot loggers and robot um, uh you know all this other stuff uh why do they have to do that well first of all like i said they're in a sealed environment uh bring your little dumb robot out here and see how it does with uh, uneven ground and whatever else and some bird coming by and you know going to the bathroom on it or something we'll see how your robot does then uh and seasonal changes and temperature changes and and there's no Wi-Fi signal out here. How would your little robot do then? But you see, they also have to say there are things there. And where we see a great future because it's all about the stock brokers that are behind Tesla and all these other satanic companies. And it's all about uh, getting grants from the government and whatever else. You have to keep that money coming in, you see? And so that's what it's all about. And what is it? Witchcraft. It's what it is. It's absolutely what it is. They have to bend, shape, and change reality. You see, the reality of it is that uh, man has made a complete mess of this world and always has made a complete mess of the world. But man wants you to believe that actually things are better now and we have a bright future ahead of us. And if we just can, you know, put an end to fossil fuel cars and if we just all drive Tesla cars around, you know, $100,000 plus dollar Tesla cars around that nobody can afford, um, everything will be fine we'll we'll be better we'll well i mean there is the problem of overpopulation we're going to have to kill off a whole lot of people doesn't that kind of line up with the bible yeah a uh, third of all the people killed in one judgment in the future but you know uh, yeah you know and uh, doesn't the bible talk about uh, people receiving a mark in their forehead um you know like the Neuralink? uh no well yeah but it's not the same thing it, it has nothing to do with Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Doesn't the Bible talk about the mark of the beast? That uh, no man can buy or sell save he that had the mark? Yeah, worshiping the beast and his image. That the uh, false prophet had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That it should move and talk. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you know, they need witchcraft to, make the, to pull the thing off because it's going to be that pathetic. Quite frankly, it's going to be very pathetic. Um, you know, I've thought uh, a lot about that real beautiful maple tree right there, if you can see it. One of the most beautiful trees in the autumn time. Love the red maples. But I've thought about this a lot over the years, you know, because I'm just, I'm so unimpressed by modern man. When you get right down to it, it's, modern man is not very impressive anymore to me. Um... And some of the stuff that these goofballs come out with, that we're going to have this brave new world and all this wonderful stuff, uh, it's going to be a huge failure. Uh, just a complete and total failure. I mean, three and a half years, not even one presidency in America. Three and a half years into the glorious reign of the Antichrist. And it starts to fall apart. Uh, not very successful. Um, and God is just going to be thrashing, you know, these people the whole way through it. You know, it's not going to go well with them. So, uh, don't let the witchcraft of Hollywood get to you. You know, they want to try to make all this stuff and come out and, and um, you know, we've, we've managed to, you know, create all this new science. And it disproves the Bible. It just shows the Bible is so foolish. <laughs> you know, we, we aren't going to need God. We won't need... Uh, and a creation or anything else, you know, we'll create our own reality. And we're going to have, you know, designer children in the future and cures for cancer and everything. And uh -huh. no, you won't. You know, I think it's just going to get to a point where it'll just be virtual reality. And you'll, you know, you'll see these people in the time of Jacob's trouble and they'll be walking around, you know, looking like zombies, corpses, uh, uh, you know, sores and things on them from their mark of the beast thing you know falling apart and um but they'll be walking around they'll have all these you know just looking like zombies but they'll have vr glasses on or some kind of thing you know in their big uh, 6g cities or something smart cities <laughs> again let me go to the smart city so i can really be stupid that's brilliant but you see these people and they'll be walking around you know 
and that's what we'll see. And they're looking through their VR head glasses, and they're just, you know, these beautiful, attractive people looking down at their hands and big, strong, muscular hands. Probably gold rings on them, you know, virtual rings or something for their service to the state, you know. <laughs> the reality is far different. So, I uh, just wanted to put a little video together on that, you know. I mean, look at the clips that I showed at the beginning of this as I was driving out of the town of Patton. And um, just incredible. Tearing down houses. Is that progress? Um, people can't afford to keep their places nice anymore. And some of the houses were livable. You know, they were definitely taking a little bit of work and it'd be fine. But uh, we're going to build a brave new world. In order to do it, we're going to have to start tearing down the old to make way for the new. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Foolishness. Absolute total foolishness. But uh, the thing that's even worse than that is when Christians get afraid and start to let these witches in Hollywood and witches in the news media scare them into compliance and submission. Well, I kind of have to go along with it because most people are going along with it. And I don't know, I could get in trouble if I don't go along with it. Don't go along with the witchcraft out there. Uh, and if you are an actual witch and you're watching this, you have to understand that your system is a system of lies and deception. You're not powerful. You have no special gods or goddesses or whatever else there. Goddesses, you know, you don't have anything there. Just a bunch of devil spirits that are controlled by God, ultimately. They have to answer to God. So, do not be fooled by witchcraft. It is a foolish thing to get into. Um, whether actual witchcraft or just watching TV. So, uh, that will be it. Stand by the word of God, brethren. Uh, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. All right? So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.